Hey everyone, Kristen here from Team Breshna, and today I'm going to show you all how to create your own catch and collect game using the catch the answer template. To get started, head to the official website which is breshna.io and scroll down until you see the game templates. Look for the catch the answer template and press the create button to open the editor. Once the editor opens, you'll notice that we can customize different aspects of our game, like our game's avatar, background, collectibles, non-collectibles, and music. We'll start by customizing our game's main character. Navigate to the Avatar tab on the left-hand side of the editor. Scroll through all of the different options until you find one that you like, and then click on the one that you would like to add to your game. I think I'll use this frog for my game. Next, we'll customize our game's background. Click the Background tab on the left side of the editor. Here you'll notice that there are a bunch of different options to choose from. Choose your favorite. I think that I will go with this one right here. Or maybe this one. Yeah, I like this one more, so it'll be the one that I go with for my game. Next, we'll customize our game's collectibles. Click on the Collectibles tab on the left side of the editor. For my game, I want to keep it simple and have people collect pencils, so I'll select this pink pencil, yellow pencil, and blue pencil. Next, we'll customize non-collectibles. Click on the non-collectibles tab on the left side of the editor. Non-collectibles are items that will damage the player if they're collected. For my game, I think I'll just use these two beakers here. Next, we'll add music to our game by clicking on the music tab on the left side of the editor. Here, you can press the play button to preview and listen to any of these tracks. And if there's one that you really like, make sure to add it to your project by pressing the plus button. I think I'll add this simplicity track. Now that we're done with our customizations on the left side of the screen, look at the right side of the editor and navigate to the Game Info tab. Here we can customize our game's title, tags, category, and description. We'll start by customizing our game's title. For my game's title, I think I'll just call it Pencil Catcher. Now we'll customize our game's tags. So I will add Pencil. Now we'll move on to choosing a category for our game. By default, the options are Games for Good, Enterprise, Education, Social and Entertainment, and Health. I think I'll leave mine on Social and Entertainment for now. Next, we can choose whether or not we'd like to collect our players' emails. I usually leave this option off for my games. Now we'll customize our game's description. For my game, I'll just put Catch the Pencils and Avoid the Beakers. Now that we're done with our description, scroll back up and click on the Levels tab to the right side of the Game Info tab. The Levels tab is where we can customize different levels of our game. You can press the Add Level to add additional levels and customize them, but for this video we'll only be customizing Level 1. You'll notice that our avatar and background that we had selected appears here as well. So we can get started with the introduction. For my introduction, I'm just going to put Catch the Pencils. Next, we'll customize the question section. Here, I'll put collect pencils to increase your score. Now we'll customize our level's closing answer. This is the text that will pop up at the end of our level. Here, I will put thank you for playing my game. Now we'll scroll down to the completion score. The completion score is how many score points are required to complete the level. By default, it's at 30, and I think I'll just leave it there for now. Now we can scroll down and look at all of our collectibles. You'll notice that the pencils that we added earlier are here, with some cupcakes and text as well, which are just placeholder items, so we'll press the X to remove those. Now take a look at our non-collectibles. Here we have the beakers that we've added earlier, and some placeholder items. Now that I've removed all of that, we're ready to publish our game. Press the Publish button to publish your game. You can use the Copy URL button to copy your game's URL to share it with your friends and family. Also, you can press the Play button to jump right into playing your game. 